Nani huyu ambaye anafaa kushiriki? Ambaye ameamini na kufanya nini? Na kupatizwa. Bas, umeandika katika meza hii. Na hata kama hujapatizwa, you are free to see how the celebration is done by by your fellow Christians. Na ningependa kuandika katika mahubiri ya leo na pia niwashukuru. Na niseme hivi, najua mambo ni mengi katika maisha haya. Najua kuna watu wako na mawazo mbalimbali haujaripa rent. Na nami nitajitaja ngapi? Nani? Napiga mahesabu kabisa. Naomba hayo maneno yote mwachie Yesu. Yaweke kando na atajibu kwa imani. Kwa sababu unapojisumbua kama mwanadamu, there is nothing you will do. Bless you put it unto God. Ninajua kuna mtu hapa ajaripa fees na dhambi na isha. Najiuliza maswali, jana alipewa note anashangaa itakuwa vipi but yes Jesus Christ is still at the throne waiting for you to ask because if you ask you will be done what you will be given sasa mumbi anaposimama kukubiri huwa anashangaa unaweza kujibia mtu ambaye ni heartbroken jana aliandikiwa message akaambiwa it is over mwanamke mwanamume amechapwa rungu usiku wa leo Alafu namwambia Yesu ni Bwana. Is it possible? Ni ngumu sana. Bila mmenyamaza hivyo ni ngumu sana. Lakini kwa Yesu inawezekana. Mtu ambaye hajapata kiamshakini asubuhi ya leo. Alafu namwambia tuimbe kwa sauti na kwa furaha. Ngumu sana kumwambia mtu kama huyo. Sabu at you lost the love of. Natua ni ngumu sana. Naambia mtu I am feeling the way you are feeling. And yet it has not affected you. It's very hard to preach to that person. And then, kuna mtu ambaye ni mgoni, wana kihisi, kuna pekua mkongo, wana watamaliza sangapi ni yale kumeza na. Lakini jua, huko katika njimba ya kuwana, na amekukaribisha, na nifuraha kukua, anako kuwana katika njimba yake, umejisukuma, umekunja hili kusikia kutoka kuwana. We have people who come from broken families. Mzea lienda na hata ujumi mahali huko. Analipa renti kuhigina kwa kwa hali. Analipa school fees nyingine kwa kwa hadithi. Kuna watu ambao saa hii wamechoka kabisa. Labda wametoka kibarua usiku, naona wale nikuja kanisani nishiriki, kisha nienda kupumzika nyumbani usijali. Uko katika nyumba ya Bwana and he give you a sober mind so that you listen to his word. We have these people who have loans. Sasa mshwali saa hii ukiangalia simu hivi unaona police na kuambia your loan limit has been reduced unless you do what you pay today stress kama hizo lakini nataka kusema hivi zote tuweke kando ili tuweze kusikia yale ambayo Mungu ametuandalia maana tuko katika nyumba yake kwa hivyo tuweke simu kando kuacha ku chat let us chat with our Lord Jesus Christ okay amen sikuseme amina amen
sandals sandals si unajua ukioga tu hivi ukifika hapa kwa barabara tayari vumbi imefanya nini but Christ placed with them he washed their feet just to symbolize the cleansing of their heart sio miguu alikuwa anamaanisha utakaso wa roho maana miguu itawashwa na pale itafanya nini the same way as Christians tunaye za tawadhana leo kisha kesho kesho tunaangalia lakini Mungu wetu ambaye ni warehema kuu anakuja ukienda kwake na kusema Mungu naomba msamaha he is full of grace he is able to forget i need to forgive so wakati tunaposhiriki kapata katika pasaka hii ni nini huwa inafanyika kuna kitu inaitwa self examination ambayo ni individual self examination unajua nimetembea aje katika kota hii ambayo nimeweza kupita ni nini kile ambacho nimemfanyia Mungu ambacho si kizuri so this is the time after assessing yourself you pray you confess then you ask for forgiveness after repenting then you will be able to celebrate the Lord is king kwa sababu gani usipo tubu bado tunaambiwa hii raana hii pasaka usipo ishiriki katika njia ambayo inastahili then you are bringing curses unto yourself wanafunzi wa Yesu walipomkubali Yesu waliweza kupatizwa ili wakaweza kuwa wametakazwa na damu yake Yesu Kristo Peter unakumbuka anaambia Yesu aje anamwambia Yesu mimi hata naomba unioshe usinioshe tu miguu peke yake naomba unioshe mwili mzima because he did he did he did no uh, Judas mwenyewe anapoketi hapa anajua yeye kabisa Yesu unajua anakujua anajua huyu ni mwizi kabisa so na anapokuwa mabaya lakini bado he was just pretending sitting there mimi hata sisi hata mimi unaita dhambi ya siri ambayo niko nayo ambayo sitaki kwa kuitubu Judas tuko hapa Petero tuko hapa na wale wanafunzi wengine hapa what are we supposed to do to ask God for true forgiveness so that he can forgive us so that as we celebrate this we are cleansed and we are sanctified so that we can fit in this kingdom Najua wengine tunakuwa katika changamoto ya kuamua ni shiriki leo acha nitashiriki na sikoni Next what I think acha nisishiriki hii kwa nitashiriki bila nyingine Nashinda kusema mwaka huu mwaka kesho mwaka ujao without knowing what will happen at you are Ndio kuomba hivi ambaye uko katika hali ile ngumu ya kuamua ni jinsi gani ninaweza kushiriki ama kuamua Mungu aweze kukusaidia You can see what happened in your life Those people were not prepared in any way By the way kwa wanajianga kama uliona unaweza kitungu kidogo hivi mauti anafanya nini So if that person said that I will decide next week hakupata nafasi hiyo Accidents do happen and life changes my brother my sister i just beseech you to accept god today and partake it is me kwa sababu unapokula divai ni damu yake ambayo unayotumia ambayo inakutakasa unapokula mwili wa yesu hiyo yesu sasa nakaa ndani yako unatembea na yeye unapoenda kongo anakuleta karibu kwa sababu wewe ni mtoto wake mafungu ambayo yalikuwa yanatongozwa kwa sababu ya muda na kwa sababu ya kuyasoma utakapofika nyumbani kama uelewi mambo na pasaka soma wakolida wa kwanza wakolida wa kwanza 16:17 first corinthians chapter 10 verse 16 and 17 bisho utasoma first corinthians chapter 11 verse 23 to verse 8 Matthew chapter 26 verse 17 to that at your own time 
ni vizuri kusoma na kuelewa kuliko kungoja kusomewa tu kisha usome kitabu cha ufundi the revelation about tunasoma tatu fungu la 20 ambapo Yesu anatuita na anasema he is standing at the door knocking let us not harden our hearts let us not assume that we are the ones who are being called let us heed to the call so that we welcome Jesus into our lives to come seek and celebrate with us kisha tutasoma kitabu cha Yohana 6:48 63 then john 13 Pass 1 to pass 17. We John chapter 1, we need chapter 13, pass 14, we need to pass 17. Biblia inasema basi ikiwa mimi nilie Bwana na mwalimu, nimewatawata miguu. Nimewapasa vivyo kutawadhana miguu ninyi kwa ninyi. 15 kwa kuwa nimewapa kielelezo ili kama mimi nilivyowatendea nanyi mtende vivyo Jesus Christ himself gave us, gave us an example hadi ninyenyekeza akatawada wanafunzi wake miguu na akasema wafanye hivyo kwa kukumbusha Unajua tunapodawadana what makes me happy wakati tunapita katika pasaka hii sisi wote tunatoshana there is no position no self esteem no pride sisi wote unatoa kiatu na tawada mzamo despite the class kwa sababu wana wa Mungu hawana class and we should not have class because all of us belong to God is king kwa hivyo usiogope najua kuna watu tunaogopa Hebu imagine those disciples of Jesus. Mtu ambaye anakanyaga chini anafaa slippers. Unaweza elewa mguu inaweza kuwa imepasuka pasuka vizuri. Lakini Yesu did the spice and one. Asema wewe kaa kani. Aliweza kutawadha bila kubakwa. So who are we? Who are we to choose who to wash the feet? Let us see millions and millions the, the, the example of Jesus Christ as he did. We have what we call forgiveness. Unajua kuna mtu hako na mzigo katika roho yake. Ambapo unasema yule naye ni mshiriki wa kanisa kabisa. Anatarajia kwenda mbinguni lakini anasema yule Hatuwezi samehana na hatuwezi samehana kabisa my friend i beg that it is high time you forgive one another as christ forgave us when you forgive your heart becomes free unakuwa free hata unaposhiriki moyo wako unakuwa uko na furaha na furaha ya kweli huzuni tena ile inaonekana kwa hivyo nikusema Mungu aweze kuwabariki na tuweze kusimama na nyimbo zetu 110. Mungu aweze kuwabariki.